In the second question, we are asked for speed. And so I've left some of the things that we calculated in part A on my screen. We found velocity at two was negative two. And we found the acceleration at two was four. The slope on this graph is four. What we have graphed here is velocity. If we wanted to graph speed, it would be the absolute value. And so all of the negative portions of the graph would come above the t-axis. And so this point right here Speed at 2 would equal 2, not negative 2. And as we thought about, the derivative of speed will tell us if speed is increasing or decreasing. Now we can see the slope of the tangent line is negative. If we were to justify our answer on a problem like this, we would need to actually show the graph and explain how the derivative of speed is negative or Better yet, we would recognize that velocity less than zero, acceleration greater than zero, means that our object is slowing down. And therefore, has decreasing speed. If you're going to show something, if you're going to try to use a graph to explain yourself, then you need to clearly show the entire graph, including a statement about the derivative of speed. It's quicker for something like the AP test to show what you know about velocity and acceleration at the point you're looking for.